Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? I wouldn't call it proof, but he was just trying to rope me into some shady deal. All I need to know. You're done, Julian. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, dammit! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier Marco always has clean water. So... Uh... Maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe... Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except... Well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Houndfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. You're a pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh-huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. That to be some. Fuck me, people always complain. We're alive, and that's what counts. Get this. Barney said it. Hey, hangman. How's the neck? Very funny. 
Let me tell you something. If I were you, then I'd have wished for them to end me. Would you rather have needless deaths on your conscience? I wish you didn't hang the innocent here. Well, it all worked out, didn't it, Pilgrim? You didn't kill anyone, and you're free. Win-win. Who is Barney? Everyone knows Barney here. I don't. Tell me. Well, I wouldn't bother yourself about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. And hey, you don't want that kind of trouble. Well, now I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no one to fuck with. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access. Some say the hey. renegades are about to... <coughs> I heard Carl talking about water restrictions last night. You look familiar. Yeah, I'm the guy who almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. <coughs> I see. It was a risky situation. I get it. So? We good? We're good. A new face. Pilgrim. Heard you were the curious type. Explore streets and building interiors if you want to learn the history of this city. Do I know you? <coughs> Pilgrim. How's New Paris holding up? I have a cousin there. Must have been very strong. Or there was a groove. You were so supposed to be discreet, not go shouting what in the middle of the bazaar. My wife was a nurse. They surprised me. How was I supposed to know they had shears to go? Can you hear yourself at all? Not for you to say. You were there. Have you ever planted chamomile? It's good for digestion. Hell, I can't even get none of the sprout. Maybe try fennel. That only nature takes pity and gives the Think you'll make it to next season? How can it be? Everything all right? No, it's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. But what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See? He's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, uh... A... Uh... Craftmaster? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you! Thank you! We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come round to my Craftmaster workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh... Watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend.
kids no food tonight. Again. Water for sale? I'll pay half a crystal per gallon. Sounds the infected outside make. Hear that, 
How's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station. died in there. Thanks, man.
Ah! <laughs>